create a credit memo and match it to the invoice. So let's go to Oracle Fusion Applications Cloud and quickly create a credit memo there. All right, here I am in Fusion Applications Cloud. Now, before we proceed further, let's uh, quickly look at uh, the application and release we are on. So we are on Oracle Cloud application release 21A, which is uh, the latest at the moment. So I'm gonna cancel that. In order to create a credit memo, you can either go from the navigator to receivables and then billing. Alternatively, you can go from the springboard, receivables and then billing. Both ways, you will reach to the billing section. Within that, you go to task bar and within the task menu, you go and look for credit transaction. And in credit transaction, you can uh, search for the original transaction first. So if you have the invoice number, then it will be very helpful. You can quickly check the transaction by its invoice number. So I have one invoice number, which we have used it previously. Okay, as you could see. Um, so the paid amount was 5117.98, whereas the current current balance is 3810.94 and um, here you can create the credit memo so transaction source is manual we are manually creating the credit memo the type is credit memo you can give a um, uh, customer reference or reference details or any special instruction or comments if you like transaction date gets defaulted to today's date accounting date also get defaulted to today's date and any attachment if you wish you can uh, attach it using this function and at this point you see it is uh, crediting the balance due amount over here as you could see the remaining balance it is showing over here but what you can do is you can credit certain lines from the invoice and how would you credit certain lines? You can click on this button to credit certain lines from the invoice and within certain lines, for example, if 10 quantity was purchased by the customer initially and two got damaged, so you can give the credit for two quantity. However, if something has happened and customer wants entire um, paid amount to be credited, then you can uh, use this function credit and uh, balance to um, credit the entire transaction paid by the customer okay so in this case the customer has paid um, 5117.98 and you can credit the entire 5198 if you like okay select invoice lines to be credited by line quantity or the line amount so let's go back to Oracle fusion receivables cloud all right there I am so in order to credit the lines you can credit by the item quantity or by an amount okay so hit credit lines button and then use this uh, invoice line plus icon button to add the invoice line you've got two lines out here so let's say I'm gonna choose the second one hit apply and then hit the done button so this quantity got chosen so six quantity was purchased and I'm gonna give the credit for two say two got damaged so the adjusted amount is uh, shown over here is one two six three which you can always override if you like and um, And then if you come down you can edit the text lines you can give certain references you must provide a great reason which is always helpful so say something like damaged product and um, if at all there is a sales order number associated then you can provide the reference of sales order associated sales order line sales order date sales order revision over here if you like 
but since we are creating this uh, create memo out of uh, the invoice which was manually created there is no reference to the sales order number so we are going to leave it blank you can also um, credit sales credits if you like by using this particular button but I'm not going to do that so this is uh, the way to credit a quantity so I'm going to hit the save button but if you see this quantity is plus two and hence the item is hence the, hence the total amount is coming as two five two six but I believe you should give it minus in front of it to have a credit in minus okay so always remember credit memo you have to pay so it is subtracting out of your system okay so you must prefix it with minus and one tip that is like an exam question if you are in Middle East and if you are creating a credit memo then the minus sign must not prefix it should suffix so in Middle Eastern countries you have to prefix it like this because they will implement Oracle Fusion ERP possibly in Arabic whereas English is written from left to right whereas Arabic is right to left the other way around okay so the in case of Arabic implementation you should uh, suffix the credit memo with minus whereas if it is in English you should prefix it like this okay and once you're done you hit the save button or save and close if you like okay so it's all done